To start with bilge water management, you need to know two things. The requirements that must be met before pumping machinery space bilges, and the records that must be completed for machinery space bilge discharges. Most current legislation demands that treated bilge water must contain less than 15 parts per million ppm. To put that into context, If we had a typical 210 liter drum, 3.15 milliliters would be 15 ppm. That's about one medicine dropper or half a teaspoon of oil mixed in with a drum full of water. Depending on your point of view, that's either a lot or not very much. But remember, what we would like is zero discharge. When this rule first came in. 15 ppm was about the limit for what we could reasonably get down to, and what we could measure with reasonable accuracy. Nowadays, however, most bilge separator manufacturers are working towards 5 ppm, which is already a requirement in some localized areas of the world. First of all, we need to be clear that this module is about machinery space bilges. And that MARPOL regulations are written to try and avoid anyone cheating, so we must not knowingly put things like cargo washings or cargo pump room bilges into the engine room bilges, and then say we are discharging engine room bilge water. That would be illegal. Annex One of MARPOL says that for a vessel above 400 GRT. Machinery space discharge outside a special area is allowed when the ship is proceeding en route. The oily mixture is processed through oil filtering equipment, meeting the requirements contained in Annex One. The oil content of the effluent without dilution does not exceed 15 parts per million. The oily mixture does not originate from cargo pump room bilges on oil tankers. And the oily mixture, in case of oil tankers, is not mixed with oil cargo residues. We will talk about the special areas themselves in a moment, because some special areas are more special than others. However, in most special areas, the rules for discharging machinery space bilges are about the same as anywhere else. The difference lies with the requirements for the bilge water separator itself. Essentially, if you were going to use a bilge water separator in a special area, then it must have an automatic alarm and stopping device. In this module, we are going to try and stick with the things you need to know from an operational point of view. The difference between being outside or inside special areas was far greater many years ago, when there was a higher ppm allowance for machinery space bilges outside a special area. Those days are gone, and the reality is that nearly all modern equipment complies with the rules for inside a special area. However, it is probably worth mentioning that there is still a very big difference between inside and outside a special area when it comes to discharges from cargo operations. The supplement to the International Oil Pollution Prevention (IOPP) certificate, issued and checked annually, will tell you, the operator, what system is on board. And therefore, how you can discharge the machinery space bilges. These are the listed special areas for Marple Annex One, but note that the Antarctic is a special case of a special area. In the Antarctic area, any discharge into the sea of oil or oily mixtures from any ship is prohibited. The IMO also lists particularly sensitive sea areas (PSSAs). A PSSA is an area that needs special protection through action by IMO because of its significance for recognised ecological or socio-economic or scientific reasons, and which may be vulnerable to damage by international maritime activities. Please remember that local regulations often apply in places like the Great Barrier Reef, for example, and that new special areas are being added to different annexes of Marple all the time. 
so always check that you have up to date local information. The oil record book, part 1, must be accurately completed for every discharge from machinery space bilges. The date, operational code, and item number needs to be written in the appropriate columns, and the required particulars should be recorded chronologically in the blank space. For discharges overboard, the ship's position at the start and end of the discharge should be entered. Each completed operation shall be signed for and dated by the officer or officers in charge of the operation. Each completed page must then be countersigned by the master of the ship. Failure to fill in the oil record book in a proper way has led to those on board and companies being prosecuted. Most current legislation demands that treated bilge water must contain less than 15 ppm. Nowadays, however, most bilge separator manufacturers are working towards 5 ppm, which is already a requirement in some localised areas of the world. Annex 1 of Marple says that For a vessel above 400 GRT, machinery space discharge outside a special area is allowed when the ship is proceeding en route, the oily mixture is processed through oil filtering equipment, meeting the requirements contained in Annex 1. The oil content of the effluent without dilution does not exceed 15 parts per million. The oily mixture does not originate from cargo pump room bilges on oil tankers, and the oily mixture, in case of oil tankers, is not mixed with oil cargo residues. For machinery space bilges, special area requirements lie in the requirements for the bilge water separator itself. It must have an automatic alarm and stopping device. All the details of the requirements for pollution prevention equipment are included in IMO's MEPC 10749 document. Special areas are listed in Marple Annex 1. Local regulations often apply in places like the Great Barrier Reef, for example, and new special areas are being added to different annexes of Marple all the time. The IMO also lists particularly sensitive sea areas which need special protection because of their significance for mankind.